watch it regardless. Aaron here again another day of eating so far I've had my coffee which is you know full of collagen MCT oil and coconut oil the MCT oil that I'm using right now is actually a palm based MCT oil and it's sustainably raised so before anybody gets on me about how palm oil is you know not eco-friendly this is from a sustainable source which was kind of important in checking out whether or not I wanted to have palm oil it is still a C8 MCT oil and it's still does the same things that a coconut oil based or a coconut based MCT oil would. The only difference is that it's from palm oil and pretty much I can't taste any difference and I've been having it now for almost two weeks and I don't notice any difference within my body as far as feeling like I have enough energy, feeling sustained, um, having MCT from palm oil versus MCT from coconut oil. I will probably go back to the coconut oil version because they tend to be more cost effective and a little bit more you know, affordable, which I am all about. So um, just wanted to try it out there because it is a product that is marketed to people on keto. Again, like I said, we'll probably go back unless there's some super sale on this at some point, we'll probably go back to having a coconut oil based MCT oil here the next bottle I buy. So I haven't had lunch yet, um, but I have been kind of plucking away at work and doing stuff. I will probably just end up making a salad and then get back to work. And then for dinner, um, I've got a duck that I'm gonna try to cook. I'm gonna try to cook a whole duck. I'm gonna put it in my roaster oven and roast it the way I would a chicken or a turkey and just see how it turns out. I am not a duck cooking connoisseur. I've never done it before and so I really don't have any advice besides the fact that I am trying it out in order to consume different meats from different sources and get different proteins and fats into my diet and just, you know, keep things fresh on my keto journey. I also have some whole artichokes that I'm just gonna roast in the oven. Um, that I actually will have kind of a recipe for and I will put that in the description. But the duck could turn out bad and so I am not going to put all my ducks in one basket, all my eggs in one basket and you know even try to say that I'm gonna be cooking something that looks amazing but I will kind of just show that process to you guys and probably not have it be as educational as I normally would or as kind of a recipe as I normally would. There are definitely times where I just try different things in order to, you know, try different things. So it's lunchtime and I am needing to kind of eat as quickly as I can because I need to get through a lot of work, but I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on what I'm eating and this is a big bowl of broccoli slaw, tuna, avocado, mayo, um, a couple tablespoons of pine nuts, about a tablespoon, well two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, um, some hot sauce in there because I like food that's a little bit more spicy, um, some onion powder, and I just kind of mixed it all together into this big bowl of nutrition. And <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and then have a few uh, flacker crackers. So I like these. Um, I buy them occasionally. My natural food store sells these for like $2.99 for a bag and a bag usually lasts me like a week and a half or so based on how many I eat. And flax seeds are a great source of omega-3 so I like to get that in there. And I didn't put chia seeds into this today because I'm having the flax seeds um, instead. But I do have some good tuna in here which is full of omega-3s anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and get back to work and kind of finish out my day.
So I don't normally make a afternoon coffee, but um, I did today and this is just like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of coconut creamer and then a couple drops of vanilla flavored stevia and this will hopefully give me a little bit more energy to get through the day. I actually only really wanted this because I'm kind of cold and I thought about tea and I just wasn't in the mood for tea. So I'm going with coffee and yeah, um, about one o'clock now and hopefully this kind of gives me the warm pick me up that I'm looking for in order to kind of continue on with my day. So it's now the end of the day. I have finished my meals and I can basically tell you that I will probably never roast a duck again. I'm just not that into it. It was very hard to get the meat off of there. There wasn't as much meat as there would have been in a chicken that is even smaller and um, even one that's not like raised to be a big huge chicken. Um, the small little organic chickens that I buy that are kind of worm and vegetarian fed are you know way more meatier than that duck was and it was a lot of work to kind of carve that thing up a lot harder than carving a turkey so just a little bit more work and it just didn't feel like the benefit was there so probably not buying a duck anytime soon the artichokes turn out amazing i love roasting artichokes in the oven it's so easy all you have to do is just you know cut them off prep them and then throw them in tin boil with the olive oil the lemon juice and the garlic and then throw them in the oven for about an hour and 10 20 minutes and they turn out perfect i like to make some sort of dipping sauce to dip them in and i made a mayo based one tonight because my husband is avoiding dairy again so just because i don't want to make multiple meals each night um, it's just easier for me to kind of become a little bit more dairy free again i have noticed that since incorporating dairy back into my diet that my weight loss pretty much has stalled and that I'm not as lean feeling as I was um, a couple weeks ago. So anyways, that's kind of been my day of eating. It's now pretty late and I want to go work out and I want to go sauna and just kind of relax into my evening. So I hope you guys had a good day. I hope this video was informative and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.